bastards. Um, I think Eat Fresh is a great slogan. They managed to convince the entire continent, if not the globe, that eating a foot of bread was somehow good. Welcome, welcome, welcome to BitMonkey TV. This is a new segment called Tech Tip Tuesday. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays are solo days. I'll sometimes be doing interviews, uh, but, but more often than not, I'll be doing demonst demonstrations, showing you the screen, uh, talking about certain, you know, frustrations in tech. Oops, sorry about that. And uh, already some technical difficulties, so wouldn't be uh, the show without one or two of those. Um, so let's start off with... Um, a disclaimer because I understand tech tips are, are you got to be careful right when you're giving out the tips because somebody might try to hold you liable so understand one thing with all of these tech tips on all of these segments please proceed with your own you know with caution um, always make backups of your files um, don't take what I'm saying as the definitive truth uh, not to say I'm, I'm giving false information, but understand that different devices, different environments, different variables might cause a system to react differently given a certain tech tip, right? It may work better on a Windows 10 with a later service pack than in an earlier service pack, um, if that makes any sense, right? So there's a lot of unique variables with these tech tips that you got to take it with a grain of salt. Always do your research and always do your backups uh, before you do anything. So today we're going to be pretty brief. Um, we're going to focus on some struggles that I've <clears throat> come across with something as simple as trimming down a video uh, because we try to keep it as low maintenance as possible on post-production. So uh, we go live, we generally take that live, take it to YouTube and call it a day. Uh, but recently we've been waiting a few minutes at the beginning to let some viewers, some live viewers come in. So uh, I found an easy way to trim that without having to purchase Adobe, without having to learn any videography um, software, without having to upload it to a website, wait, you know, depending on your internet speed, you have to wait, right? And sometimes it's not free depending on the size of the file, right? And something I've come across with these free uh, clipping websites is, there's usually like a one gig limit if I'm not mistaken or there's there's some type of limitations to where you can only use it so often for free until they start charging you so I started doing some research you know uh, being the, the the resourceful Robin I am shout out V friends got the epic for sure um, I found this tool called lossless cut on github and it's been updated recently if I'm not mistaken but I'm gonna pull it up on the screen here we're gonna make sure to link this. Oops, let me pull this up for you. Technical difficulties. I thought I set that up prior. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. There we go. I was gonna have to close that down and, and reopen it. So it's this one here, Lossless Cut, if you just search it. I'm gonna post the link in the Twitch stream for anybody watching, if there's any viewers, and then I'll make sure on the YouTube uh, comments to put the download link. Just full transparency, this is not, we're not affiliated with this person or this organization whatsoever. I don't even think it's an organization. Um, but yeah, last updated nine days ago, if you're looking on your screen there right here in the center um, and I have been using it for the past two weeks now to trim down every single video and it is so easy to use let me see if I can pull it up on the screen Give me one moment So I can't pull it up, but uh, I'm gonna have to give you guys give you one second here. Out. 
just doesn't want to come up. That's a bummer. Oh, almost got it. There we go. Beautiful. So this is what the app looks like after you download it. And all you have to do is drag your file in here or you can go file open. And I'm gonna give you an, uh, an example. We're just gonna walk through it together. And then while you're watching this, for anybody who plans on tuning in every week, I would love to hear um, if you're in our Discord, um, Monkey Bites Discord for Bitmonkey TV. We have a, a sub channel in there. Go ahead and drop a note. We would love to hear exactly what you want to see. I know we have cold storage wallets, hot swap wallets, how to air gap a computer on the list. Um, but right now, time is very, very limited. So I wanted to do episodes that are short and sweet for the first month just to get in the swing of things as far as the schedule of streaming every single day of the week. Okay, so bear with us and really appreciate your patience. So I'm gonna pull the full one from our last episode from yesterday. And all I did was drag it in there and you see how quickly it uploaded? Now from here, this is where you kind of drag along. So it already knows that I've edited it before here. I've made my alterations. And as you can see, we had about two, three minutes of wait time. So a quick and easy way, I just opened up this app. It's very lightweight. I found the point on which I wanted to start, which is usually just three seconds before we, we switch gears. You have to come here, hit this left arrow, and then you do the same thing. We generally time it right on our, our, our outros to where we don't need to trim it. But if you wanted to trim it down, let's say you have some dead space there, 15 seconds or 10 seconds or something, you do the same thing here and you just hit the, hit the right arrow and it clips it down. And then you hit this little uh, blue button on the bottom right hand side, export. You don't have to change anything. It's not too complicated, just hit export. And it's gonna do work. It's gonna put it exactly where that source file was, unless you specify otherwise, right? Unless you clicked on that file path and uh, specified otherwise. So yeah, that's the uh, tech tip. I'm gonna pull up the um, website one more time. So it's lossless cut. You can find this on GitHub. All right, make sure it's on GitHub. Make sure it's from this, um, this developer here and we're gonna be providing links in the uh, comments below so we're gonna be really brief this week like I said before thank you so much for tuning in I uh, hope you enjoyed this quick and brief segment of Tech Tip Tuesday uh, we're gonna start a new sequence for this so our Monday Wednesday and Friday are gonna continue that that uh, chronological order you know from one through infinity but Tech Tip Tuesdays and our Creative Thursdays uh, will either start a different sequence. Uh, it's always going to be on the same channel, but we'll get creative with it. They're always going to be short. Uh, sometimes we'll go longer if you guys are asking for a particular topic, you know. Um, I want to start doing more as far as enjoy technical difficulties on our first Tech Tip Tuesday. Sorry about that. When I don't have Scott, my co-host here, it's 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 being mindful of certain things. He usually watches the Twitch stream live to make sure we don't make any uh, weird adjustments while we're live because we generally only looking at one monitor here. So forgive that. Uh, appreciate you for tuning in. This was our first Tech Tip Tuesday here on BitMonkey TV. Um, you know what? I'm going to start incorporating um, something I've been using. I meant to do this at the beginning, so you're seeing me kind of work the kinks live. I'm just, I'm not going to delete this. I'm just going to roll with it. But uh, I've been using Swan, which is a competitor. I don't want to say it's a competitor, but it's an alternate path to acquiring Bitcoin aside from uh, Coinbase. Now, understand, this is more for the autonomous mindset, the long-term mindset. If you want it access, you know, you want to access it quickly, um, their process, the way the withdrawal works, the way everything works, it's generally your first one, I think is about 10 to 12 days or something like that. Um, and then once you autonomously do it and set up the automatic withdrawals to a master seed, 
uh, fuck, I can't remember if it was five or seven days. Anyways, for the long-term thinkers who are considering putting away, whether it's 100, 200, 1,000, 2,000 a month into Bitcoin, just autonomously, every paycheck, whatever your number is, um, check out swan.com forward slash uh, bitmonkey. I'm sorry, swan Bitcoin dot com forward slash bitmonkey i'll make sure to uh drop this in the comments and i'll make sure the next episode episode goes a lot smoother so thanks again for tuning in and uh hope you have a great day